let's see the filter options these are the filter options first is minus b bssid if you want to filter only packets which are with the said bssid you have to use this minus b bssid option this option has to be used when you know the ap's mac address you have to capture all the packets all the packets which are having bssid as the ap's mac address you have to use this filter second and third filter are minus d minus d mac and minus s mac minus d is the destination mac address and minus s is the source mac address if you want particularly particularly to capture the packets with some destination mac or some source mac you can use these filters currently i am just explaining what these filter options are when i will explain the attack modes i will be more i will tell in more detail how exactly to choose this destination and source max third option is the maximum minimum length and fourth option is the maximum length so minus m minimum length you can choose to filter the packets with minimum length of some x bytes and with maximum length of minus n x bytes why these options are given i am just giving hint we are sometimes interested in capturing some particular packets our packets are having some particular length so if you want to capture only our packets probably these options will be of interest to you why to capture our packets just wait for a while i will explain next option is minus u type now here comes one another beauty of the uh, replay ng it actually gives you filter options for frame control field the frame control field contains version type subtype 2ds from ds web and so on much more information is contained in that frame control 2 byte field in 802.11 header so if you want to filter only packets with some particular type or some particular subtype you can use minus u or minus v filters if you want to filter the packets which are 2ds that is coming from the client to the ap you can use minus t filter if you want to capture the packets which are from ds you can use minus f filter if you want to capture packets which are having web bit or encryption bit set now actually in 802.11 this bit in very first standard was called as web bit but after that it is called encryption bit because for all types of that is tkip and any kind of en encryption this bit is set so if you want to capture only encrypted encrypted packets this filter has to be used it is very important filter now next options are the replay options while replaying the packet these options have to be used once you have actually captured the packet air replay ng also gives you ability to change some of the contents of the packet while replaying that packet so first option is minus x number of packets per second how frequently you want to replay those packets second is minus p set frame control word so if you want to set frame control word with some specific value you can do that with minus p option third fourth and fifth options are minus a bssid minus c destination mac and minus h source mac if you want to change the mac addresses of either bssid or destination of so or source you can do this with these options next is essid now very important thing to note all these replay options will not be applicable in every attack these options are attack specific like minus e option will be used in only fake authentication type of attack next up option is minus j r preplay attack injects from ds packet next option is minus g value change ring buffer size and next very important option is minus k ip destination ip can be changed minus i source ip can be changed minus o number of packets in one burst actually air replay ng sends packets in burst so in one burst you you want to send some x packets you can use that with minus o option minus q seconds between keep alive why if you actively associate your client with the ap this keep alive packets are important so that the association remains persistent 
so this minus q option will be used in that time and the last option is minus y key stream for shared key authentication you can use this for shared key authentication what exactly is this i will explain in a short while how these attack vectors have to be used look for next video thank you for now